Column header hierarchy of this matrix visual is dynamically controlled by the month slicer. It shows day-wise breakup only for the selected month. And for other months, it shows the total values. Similarly, in this visual, it opens the month-wise values only for the selected quarter. In another example, I have year and month in the column header, but month name header shows only for the selected year in my slicer. In this video, let's create the solution to enable this amazing column header hierarchy. All right, here I have this basic semantic model with just three tables. In the report page, I will insert a blank matrix visual. Before I start creating my solution, let me create the basic measure which I will use for this demo. This measure name I can keep as total sales. The expression is as usual, sum x on sales table, and then multiply the quantity with net price. Now select the visual, and from the product table, drag the brand column as row header. From the date table, month name is column header, and total sales is the values. These values looks a little messy. For the simplicity, let me divide these values with 1 million so that it will look a little cleaner. All right. At this moment, if I select any month from my slicer, it will filter the visual only for that month, which is the normal behavior of the slicer. And if try to add the date or the days as the next level of column header, it will show both column headers for all the months. But that's not what we are looking for. We want to show all the other months as total level and the day-wise breakup only for the selected month. To solve this problem, I need to apply some workaround. First of all, I will create a new date table. For this, I can just refer my existing date table so that it will create a copy of my calendar table. Since my month name was sorted by month number, so I will apply this in the new date table as well. From the modeling tab, make sure that this new table is disconnected from the model. With that, I can go to the report page and make some changes. This time month name slicer should come from the new date table. So will it work now? Let's try. You might have guessed it, that if this table is disconnected, then how will it work? And you are right. We need a new measure for the total sales amount, which will work as expected. So without a further ado, let me create the measure. This measure name I can keep as new total sales. The expression for this measure is pretty simple. Here I will validate if selected value of the month from the new table, which I am using in the slicer, is equal to the max value of the month from the old date table, which is used in the matrix column header. Then return total sales. Else, again validate if selected value of the month from the slicer is not equal to the current value of the month in the matrix header and is in scope or has one value, day, then return blank. This condition will ensure that it will not return any values for day level for any other month than the selected month in the slicer. And it will show only on total level. Next, select the visual, remove the existing total sales measure, and use the newly created new total sales measure. All right, let's verify if my solution is working as expected or not. Then I can also do some formatting. As that you can see by default it shows on the total level. And if I select a month from the slicer, it shows the day-wise breakup only for that selected month. And for all other months, it shows the month level values. You can format this visual, like removing this total text from the column header, or use different colors for row and column headers. To save some time, I have already formatted this visual. Similarly, if you want to create for quarter and month level, where month-wise breakup is shown only for the selected quarter, and rest all quarters are on total level. Then we just need to do little change in our new total sales measure, where this time we need to validate with the quarter and month. This way, we can also create for year and month combination. Using this approach, we can customize the column header hierarchy of the matrix visual. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for many such interesting videos on Power BI. Post your feedbacks and suggestions in comment box.